Coat the faucet with a candle. You'll have something to celebrate. Don't throw away any more small birthday candles. Use them in the bathroom. Just one candle will come in handy when dealing with a faucet problem. Every faucet sooner or later shows signs of water. Every drop leaves a trace. These white streaks and lime scale appear even moments after cleaning the entire sink. They are particularly visible on metal components. The shower fixture quickly loses its shine. Instead of a gleaming shower head, you see one covered in white spots. It's water residue, but you can prevent this. All you need is one candle. It's best if it's light colored. Rub the faucet with the candle and see what happens. The candle leaves a trail. That's the idea. Next time you clean the faucet, use the candle. Just rub the areas where water marks appear the most with the candle a few times. Then take a cloth and start polishing the faucet. This will spread the wax. What does this achieve? A layer of wax will remain on the faucet, preventing water residue from building up. The water will run off without leaving any traces. Every faucet will stay clean longer. You won't have to clean it as often. You'll save yourself time and nerves. And a clean faucet will be your calling card. I have a clever trick for you regarding bathroom cleaning. It's something extraordinary. It involves a simple candle. I'm in a new bathroom, and as you can see, we have a lot of tiles here. And where there are tiles, there are grout lines. Lots of grout lines. On the walls and on the floor. If you also have such a bathroom at home, then this video is for you. I used to spend entire weekends cleaning all these grout lines. But not anymore, thanks to this simple trick, which turned out to be the best thing I've discovered recently. I like burning candles in the bathroom, so here's a simple trick you can do with it. Take a candle, preferably white. I don't recommend red or any intense color. By using this trick, you'll save a lot of time. The candle has a rim at the end. See what happens when you press it against the grout. All you have to do is rub the grout with this end of the candle. A layer of wax will remain on the grout sealing it tightly. The candle creates a hydrophobic coating. It repels water. As a result, mold, which likes to settle there, won't be able to penetrate the cement. Do it carefully. Cover the entire grout line with a thin layer of wax. I can't believe I've never done this before. Now, I'll cover all these grout lines with a candle. I'll spend more time on it this time. As a result, I won't have to clean them so often later. There will be no mold. Dirt won't penetrate the grout. They'll be clean and, above all, white for a very long time. So, wipe the grout with a candle in the bathroom, and you'll also achieve this amazing effect. Apply shaving foam to the broom. Although it may seem strange, this trick is currently trending on the internet. It turns out that shaving foam has a brilliant application in the bathroom. Grab a regular broom, which you probably already have at home. Apply shaving foam to it on both sides, covering all the bristles. A broom prepared in this way will be a lifesaver for older individuals or those with spinal problems. Just flip it and spread the foam on the floor around the toilet. This is undoubtedly one of the poorest parts of the bathroom and often difficult to reach. This foam is like soapy foam with a higher content of potassium hydroxide, so it works excellently. Apply it generously, and the broom's bristles will distribute it even into the smallest crevices. Next, cover the toilet seat, bowl, and sides with foam. It will effectively deal with yellow stains and unpleasant odors. Leave it all for 15 minutes. After this time, rinse off the foam with warm water. Immediately, you'll see that the tiles and toilet shine. A pleasant fragrance will linger in the bathroom, lasting even for a few days after cleaning. The foam also cleans the grout without unnecessary scrubbing. Recipe for homemade grout cleaner. After 15 minutes, they looked like new. It's incredibly effective and budget-friendly. The results are fantastic. In a bowl, pour four tablespoons of baking soda. Add one tablespoon of hydrogen peroxide. Finally, add a teaspoon of dish soap. Mix everything to achieve a paste-like consistency. Dirt, mold, and dust accumulate on grout lines. Their rough surface makes cleaning them difficult and time-consuming. Instead of scrubbing the grout with a brush, 
it's better to use the paste trick. Apply a thick layer of the mixture on dirty grout lines. Use a toothbrush for this purpose. The paste must cover the entire surface thoroughly. Leave it on for 15 minutes. If the grout lines are very dirty, you can extend this time up to an hour. After this time, remove the paste, wipe the floor with a wet cloth, and leave the grout lines. When they dry, you'll see a colossal difference. They'll regain their original color, and you won't have to scrub them. They'll be clean and mold-free. In the recording, you can see how huge the difference is. On the left is the grout cleaned with the paste, and on the right is the dirty grout. I do this once every few months, and my bathroom looks like new. The yellow stains on the toilet seat will disappear within minutes. The toilet will be white again without using harmful detergents. Do you have such stains on the underside of the seat? Many people struggle to remove them. They form due to the deposition of urine and water droplets during flushing. Urine stains the seat, and the limescale formed by the water can initially be invisible, then gradually take on a slightly yellowish color. If you clean the toilet and seat with strong detergents, its surface may be damaged and more susceptible to various stains. But there's a trick to it. Just make a homemade paste. The stains and discolorations will vanish. The toilet will be white again. This method saves me in such situations. I don't have to replace the seat with a new one yet. Take baking soda and pour it into a container. Add some hydrogen peroxide to it, just enough to create a paste. Mix it. It's best to use an old toothbrush for this. It's perfect for applying this substance to stains. The baking soda and hydrogen peroxide paste should be thick enough to stick to the stains. Leave it on the toilet for about 10 minutes. During this time, the baking soda and hydrogen peroxide will dissolve the stains. Then just remove everything, wipe it with paper, and you're done. Dip a twig in it and spray the bathroom. The silverfish will disappear as if by magic wand after just one night. It's a home remedy for small bugs that appear out of nowhere in the bathroom. These insects don't have wings. You can most often find them in the bathroom, especially at night. They feed on scraps left in bathrooms. It's moist enough there for them to live and reproduce. Silverfish aren't harmful, they don't bite, and they don't carry any diseases. However, they're not welcome and disgust many people, but you don't have to buy expensive and toxic silverfish killers. Just make a homomadi spray to get rid of. These bugs from the bathroom once and for all. The corners and nooks sprayed with it will be an impassable barrier. Such a spray will repel them. They won't show up in the bathroom anymore. Pour vinegar into a pot and heat it. Most insects can't stand the smell of vinegar. They avoid it like the plague. Put a sprig of rosemary in the vinegar. The scent of rosemary repels insects. It also works on silverfish. Add a few drops of lavender oil to the mixture. Such a remedy won't kill the silverfish, but it will effectively repel them. It's completely safe. You can also use it in the kitchen. Its scent will dissipate. So use such a spray every few days. You'll quickly get rid of the silverfish.